Hey everyone, Matt from SamRolling.com, and I'm doing this video for the International Film School Solaris. Um, today I'm going to take you through a 60 hour challenge, um, but just from a kind of sound editing, dialogue editing uh, kind of overview. So the idea of a 60 hour challenge is literally from you're given like a line of dialogue, a prop, and a few things to basically do. You've got to go out, you've got to make the film, you've got to edit it, you've got to do everything uh, within 60 hours. So usually it's like start on a Friday and uh, finish and hand in uh, very early on a on a Monday, if not a Sunday night. Um, so I came uh, third with this one. I've done quite a few of these actually. Um, even won a few, which is not too shabby. Uh, obviously, team effort. Um, and so I thought it would be useful not only because obviously quite a lot of you are uh, getting new and acquainted with uh, sound editing, but obviously in in this kind of time frame, I think I had about six hours in total to put this all together and mix it. Um, and clean it up and so yeah that's um yeah hopefully you guys will have more time than me so without further ado let's just dive into the session okay so firstly we have uh our video and then our guide track uh now i had to re-import the video that i actually exported uh and re-line it up that's why there's another guide track there um, but usually you just get one guide track so let's have uh, just like a little listen to that. So it's obviously got a bit of music and it's everything that they've roughly mixed together uh, in terms of what they've done in terms of the video. Hey! Excuse me! Excuse me! Wait! But we won't play them all at the same time. Hey! Excuse me! Excuse me! Wait! So you notice that the shot changes are kind of very what obvious in terms of the sound. Nothing. Just see you put some flowers down. Yeah, we have a bit of uh, no, they boom. They found the road. There. I was just putting them back. Okay. Slight changes in background noise here. There's only nine. Big change there. Who um, was? Now we've got boom and radio on both of these guys, which is really handy. Uh, and this is kind of a two-hander all the way, which makes it kind of uh, very simple for editing. Um, but obviously, shot over the course Super of a day, uh, they have kind of different um, different background noise throughout the day. And then we have some flashback sequences and stuff. So at the moment, I'm just playing everything um, with some uh, effects. I mean, you've got the boom, we've got what's a lav. Um, and then effects, even though part of this is kind of fill, part of it is foley. Again, because it's quite a, a rush session, I just kind of roughly needed to know what was going on. And then I had some stereo atmos as well uh, that I just kind of, uh, I already had from kind of another project ages ago. And then we have music just to keep everything uh, kind of nice, neat and separate. So in terms of uh, mixing, in terms of having boom hey. and radio, Excuse me. Basically, Excuse me. one is going to always play a more prominent role than the other. You're never going to have them both playing equally. Um, one, usually because they'll be kind of out of phase, or you'll have to kind of do like weird correction in terms of, not so much for this shot, but if it was a wider shot, the boom would naturally be a bit further away. The radio mic is obviously very close. You can't see it, but it would be somewhere around there hidden under the shirt. Uh, possibly that could be it there, but the neckline, that's a really useful place. Um, hey, excuse me. So if I pump this up, we get... Hey, excuse me, excuse me. So we're getting more of those birds, for instance. So that's why uh, that isn't very good. So we want to kind of try and uh, just focus on the dialogue. Hey. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wait. What are you so what I've done here is I've also added some of the footsteps from earlier on. I just added on to them, added on to the end just to keep the foley a bit smoother. Uh, you can see them here. So this is the. This is just already recorded. Uh, but Excuse obviously, me. in Pro Tools, I need to do uh, this thing solo save as it is called which means I'm actually able to solo tracks and listen to them so 
so you can see the birds are actually still in the in the feet track as well, which is not ideal, I'll admit. And then we have some Atmos to keep things smooth. So, for instance, if I'm just playing uh, both sources, sometimes I've just used one as well, just because the other one will be louder. What are you doing? Nothing. Just seen you put some flowers down. No, they, f they fell in the road. I was just putting them back. So you can see here we've got a bit of a change. No, they, f they fell in the road. So I've added this. And so when you play it all together. Nothing. Just seen you put some flowers down. No, they, f they fell in the road. I was just putting them back. So there is a bit of a swell there. Uh, but you can see the general idea of just trying to have... We've got to try and match the noisiest track to the quietest track, unfortunately, and try and find a middle area. No, they, f they fell in the road. I was just putting them back. And these long fades just okay. help with transitions as well, because now we've changed background again. There's only nine. And so originally between these two... There's only nine. We've obviously gone from footsteps to having no footsteps, which is a bit jarring, so I added this. It's just more traffic again, and so then we get... There's only nine. And now it sounds like he's just walked away and he's kind of off screen, which he is, which is great. Uh, you'll see that I've actually de-crackled de this and denoised a lot of this uh, just because of the traffic. Who was? So you can see it's much louder here. Who was? Then here. Who was? Quite a big difference actually, which is My quite son. cool. And then because he's naturally uh, a bit louder there, I've kind of kept I've kept the uh the background noise of the track here to then make it sound more Who consistent. Was? So reduce this, but then added some in, and then it matches similar to this shot. Who was? My son. Now you'll see with some of the, trying to find room tone is often quite difficult. So you see, even with this room tone having breaths in it, it kind of works for the shot. It's obviously very subtle, and there's more Atmos that goes into this. No. And so, for instance, here we had slightly overlapping dialogue. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I've just noticed it. It's fine, thank you. So you can kind of hear in the background. No, I've just noticed it. So, uh, to help us out there, we've kind of separated it out. So it's... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's fine, thank you. And so then I found his, and then it, it just allows me more control, basically. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I've just noticed it, it's fine, thank you. And then I've used the boom on this, on this character and the lav, uh, because I want a bit of that background noise to kind of match the radio of this. And obviously the boom was even louder, so to reduce noise, it took away the boom. Um, not so worried about uh, perspective in terms of context because we're so close, so that's fine. And you'll notice that I'm I'm doing room tone all the way through. Uh, this is because dialogue is played out uh, mono, so it, it feels like it's right in the center of the screen. So when you use stereo effects, they do feel like they're filling out the sides a little bit, and that gives you uh, a bit more depth. But you need to have consistency kind of in the middle, because that's where the main focus of everyone is going to be, because often the characters are talking in the middle of the screen. People forget. I don't care. So, in terms of getting rid of things like this... People forget. I don't care. Uh, we're able to just kind of steal a bit of uh, room tone from somewhere else. Uh, notice within the same take, uh, which is ideal. People forget. 
And notice there's a bit of a... There's still the nose, kind of... People forget. Which is kind of shorter, but again, it kind People of helps... Forget. I don't care. It kind of helps performance a little bit, because it's kind of like he's choking up. So that's kind of another interesting aspect of the sound. And then as we go into flashback and kind of sound design, uh, I mean, I guess I'll kind of talk about the layers that are going on there, but... Slow down sign. Oh, I'm playing guide track as well. Yeah, I, yeah, I am. I'm hurrying. Listen, I can't... I can't... Not the best, but I ain't going to be there. Uh, so, oh, I wasn't even playing the whole thing. Uh, but this was really cool, actually. I really enjoyed how this kind of came together in terms of just kind of being quite impactful. Yeah. I, yeah, I am. I'm hurrying. Listen, I can't... I can't... Not the best, but I ain't going to be there. So it's actually uh, really impactful just kind of building up. And I purposely tried to keep it mundane just so the payoff could be even bigger. Uh, so broken down into different elements, it's uh, my best buy. I'm gonna be there. So actually, there wasn't this dialogue before. I can't. I can't. And uh, this is kind of unfortunate because we kind of needed to uh, kind of keep it to a sharper payoff. Um, just let me. Uh, Plug in my computer before the battery runs out, which is never a good thing. Um, okay, so yeah, sound design elements apart. Uh, let's kind of go back and we can also look at what we've added for atmosphere. So we've added kind of two. One is this kind of nice, leafy, it's not too noisy, but again, just fills it out. And a kind of lower version of uh, another Atmos as well. Kind of didn't want to play too much on rustling leaves because it's not, it's not windy. Uh, but when added together, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I've just... No, it's, it's fine, thank you. Thank you for putting the flowers back. So we do get that kind of separation of space from the stereo and the mono at the same time. What was his name? And this also helps us uh, kind of... His name is Daniel. Keep, keep the noise floor low, but kind of keep it at the same level. Uh, because as long as these two are kind of, I guess, stronger... Okay. Uh, then uh, this, it so kind of, or at least now. equal, then it kind of spreads Five it years. out um, and kind of diffuses itself in a way. I put this sign up, the council. That's all he gets. Maybe my little boy. Now, we're using Boom and Lav uh, quite a lot of the time, again, just for clarity and kind of keeping things close. If we were just using the boom, uh, in fact, I'll show you just muting the lav, the difference. That's all he gets. Maybe my little boy. That's all he gets. Maybe my little boy. So for me, it just gives it a bit more uh, kind of weight in a way, just because... Uh, the close proximity of the radio mic, you wouldn't want to use fully, um, especially at, at that kind of level, because you're naturally going to get a bit more noise, and it's going to be, it's going to sound a bit more funny in the EQ, um, just because of placements of radio mics, and you already have to do quite a lot of work. Uh, and because the shot is nice and close, uh, you could play this all on the boom, uh, but again, I'm trying to keep the background noise uh, down to a minimum, in a way, just so... Again, with the support of the Atmos tracks, um, it can kind of blend a bit better. So radio mics are giving me an extra boost in the volume of the voice without having to uh, boost background noise because obviously radio mics are a lot closer uh, than the boom in terms of pickup. 
uh, due to proximity effects and everything else like that. So that pretty much well, covers uh, we landed. just kind of a rough intro of the session. Again, you can uh, comment and ask me more questions. Uh, I'll post a link in the description and you can watch the whole film. Um, again, it's just mixed on my computer just with uh, Genelec speakers and stuff. So again, might be a bit ropey depending what you're listening on. Uh, but again, done in six hours. So I think all in all, I'm pretty chuffed with that. And it came third. And even with kind of a simple story, just in terms of the sound design, um, I, th I think it was able to add a lot to the film, which was also quite cool. So uh, I guess all there is left to say is uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos uh, on sound. And of course, my infamous sound chats uh, with all sorts of professionals all over the world uh, doing kind of the everything from indie features to big blockbusters in terms of production and post-production sound. Um, and you can always visit soundrolling.com for even more information on that. Uh, if you leave a like on this video, it's actually easier to be uh, kind of found in the uh, infinite space of YouTube. And yeah, leave your comments with what you think and any feedback and stuff. And uh, so, yeah, even being incredibly sleep deprived, I hope this uh, helps. So until next time, see you later.